FTC Chair Lena Khan appearing before House Judiciary today after the agency announced last night it will appeal a judge's decision to let Mi Microsoft have Activision go through. Our Steve Kovacs been listening in for today's Tech Jack. Hey, Steve. Hey there, Carl. Yeah, FTC Chair Khan facing that grilling by the Republican-led House Judiciary Committee this morning, hearing focusing on FTC's investigation into Twitter for violations of a privacy settlement after Elon Musk took over the company. In the meantime, Musk Twitter asking the court today to eliminate that settlement. Musk in a tweet shortly after the hearing began saying the FTC, quote, has gone absurdly far beyond the legal mandate granted by Congress. Also, tough questions around ethics concerns. For example, Khan, when she didn't recuse herself from a case against Meta, even though an ethics official advised she do so. Another target, FTC's losing record blocking mergers. And questioning Congressman Kevin Kiley pointing out FTC is 0-4 when merger challenges and why the FTC brings those cases to courts. Take a listen to that exchange. We fight hard when we believe that there is a law violation, and unfortunately, things don't always go our way, but uh, we, you know, make determinations. But, but about are you bringing cases deal. that you expect to lose? Could you repeat Are that? you bringing cases that you expect to lose? Absolutely not. Meantime, the FTC in a legal filing last night telling the court it intends to appeal the loss in its case against Microsoft, seeking to block the tech giant from buying Activision, expecting the FTC to file that full appeal later today, any minute now. Timing could be worse for Microsoft, though. It agreed with Activision to close the deal by July 18th, and it's currently under a temporary restraining order not to buy Activision until 11.59 p.m. tomorrow. So now the question is, can the Ninth Circuit make it decision before that order lifts, and if it can't, will Microsoft go ahead and close the deal anyway? And overseas regulators in the United Kingdom yesterday gave Microsoft an opening to alter the terms of the Activision deal, putting its case on pause and saying it will pick it up again if the new terms don't satisfy. Now, if Microsoft can't get this wrapped up by July 18th, it'll either have to renegotiate terms with Activision or abandon the deal and pay a $3 billion break fee. Now, Carl, there are lots of moving parts here, but it's all coming down to the wire, Carl. Yeah, there's a this steady diet of drama in this one, Steve. Sure I'm is. wondering, the courts obviously aren't, aren't with the agency. Uh, Congress, she's obviously getting a grilling today. There's, re there's talk about whether or not there's a rift regarding leadership versus the staff. I'm just trying to think which constituency she is winning with. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and to her, uh, it, if you want to take her point of view on this, look, even though that losing uh, record they have with mergers, they see that as a win because uh, the FTC under con, uh, uh, their uh, posture in this, Carl, is that, look, Cong the laws are antiquated when it comes to this new era of antitrust, and they're trying to encourage Congress to change that. That's their view. All right, Steve, thank you. Steve Thanks, Kovac, Sarah. keeping it interesting there with all those deadlines.